Welcome back to Skill Check. We are going to get into a brand new arc, but just to do a quick recap, we had an in-between episode. Uh, somehow the museum decided it was everyone's birthday, and we had quite an amazing celebration for the seven of you, plus all the NPCs you brought, whose birthdays it was. But you guys got back from Dino Rodeo, handed in all your cool trinkets, um, had those lovely scenes, um, and basically kind of prepared for the next adventure. But Midway through there, um, through a clever use of, hey, you got a minute, Hugh spoke to um, a cameraman from a picture um, and got some answers um, as to some of the bigger questions. But no sooner did you guys do that, did you get dropped into the next world um, and you guys appeared on a boat um, and ended up stepping on something that made a click. Um, And that was where we left, but we kind of hand waved things just to give you guys a taste of the world. I'd like to pull it back real quick. Talk through your items. Um, just make sure everyone's got their their gear ready to go. Uh, there's a long list posted in the open in Discord. And then also, you guys have two choices this time around. So grab um, whatever you want from there. And let's just make sure we have those up and up. And we can get back into the scene. Did anyone do their homework? I was looking. I read it, but I didn't pick. Oh, same. Do you get, when you say you get two cho- choices, you get yep. two items? Huh? Yeah, you guys have done a whole museum um, thing on your own, and you guys didn't make it all bad. So the museum is more capable of supporting magic, extra-dimensionally. Stewie, had, did you do your homework? Um, I A little bit. I did read. There was a couple things I thought were pretty cool. Okay. Well, first come, first serve on the ones that are one of. So like, let's say you really like the immovable rod. You probably would want to say that quickly before anyone else. What did. if I really liked the python stuff? Yeah. Brother, no, I'm <laughs> anaconda, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. And hips, <laughs> honestly, they were I, yours. I would understand, but I'd be very butter. Are you cool with hemp's <laughs> uh, steel or anything? There's only four bolts. Maybe, maybe this is a scene where we're all at the counter, like as you guys are getting hurried up into the world, and you guys are like actually here in character. Let's do a little role play in Dungeons Dragons. Yeah, and also, if the mics are picking up any of that quick construction back there, it's just warehouse construction. We're in the museum. The yeah. museum is under yeah. construction. Yeah. Yep. That's all right. owns, baby. Yeah, Constantly we're paying for that. changing, shifting. I thought, yeah. they, I thought they already did that today, but he did say it's only four bolts, and he's about through the second. So we're almost right. good. That's yeah. for the warehouse magical is... paper that kills people when you look at it. Constructed yeah. with only four bolts. It's nuts. Hey, right. uh, hey, shark. Can I take those cool fucking shoes you had the little ones that make put some spring in your step yeah you sound kind of sad i don't like, want to do that no do that. i don't really want them anymore oh you guys have two items lost yes oh wait oh, maybe i still don't want them now <laughs> no no you can take my shoes actually i'd be honored if you wore them oh, thank you. they look like red basketball shoes um when he when Didi kind of goes back and fetches them puts them on the counter when you go to put them on they like resize so they fit you I'm gonna go. Oh, little Lord. <laughs> oh, sorry, dear. The smell is part of the magic. Yep. I, I, I'm a magician. I understand. I'm uh, good. <laughs> you know, if you if you pick the time card, you can bring your girlfriend. <laughs> but I can also bring that funny guy who had the opium farm. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> He's so much. I love my it's, wife to death. She's very intelligent. That guy's so strong. Did you call her your wife? Yeah. Did you just, just marry? Yeah. <laughs> you just met her. What? I thought. Well, now I can say my wife. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no, seven year old. This campaign is done. I've had it. <laughs> oh, okay. What are you guys taking? I think I'm gonna take the Pearl of Power. Ooh. Yeah. So, what was your second choice? Your shoes and then. Uh, I'm still looking. A quick okay. question about the desk of Miss Galeni. Uh-huh. Is it like the deck of many things? You would think that, but it just gives you random items. Literally, items. Like, you pull out a card and it's like, a ladder. Stewie, what did those boots do for you? Um, well, they're pretty, they make it pretty fast. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it also... Uh, it doubles your walking speed. And if a creature makes an opportunity attack against you, it has disadvantage. Mm-hmm. And when you click your heels together, it is. I don't know what opportunity and disadvantage is, but <laughs> I'm just a lawyer. I just know opportunity. And my voice is changing again, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll fucking run with it. What happened to you in that warehouse? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some things. Um, what are you taking, Hugh? I'm going to do the D10,000 of Destiny and the Hat of Disguise. Ooh. Nice. 
Uh, when he steps up to the counter and says the D10,000 of Destiny, everyone, like the museum skips for a second, like a record. And then Dee Dee says, oh, are you sure about that one? Yep. She walks to the back and then like produces like some thick like gloves. You would carry something radioactive, <laughs> grabs a literal black box of like Vanta black, brings it to you and says, okay. Puts it on the counter. I'll be taking that with me then. Good luck. Thanks. And where's my hat? Oh, sorry. I got distracted by the box. There's just a hat on the wall. Perfect. It's like a newsboy cap. But when you put it on, the hat, obviously, since you can disguise, can be any shape. I'll have it be a bucket hat. Bucket hat it is. <laughs> I think I'm going to take... I'm going to reach over and grab the screenplay. <laughs> oh. He does have it still. It's checked oh. out to him. But you could just take. Oh, them. I forget. We get two. We oh, do, he, but that he, doesn't. He, well, he took two. That's it his. Does. It's like permanently checked out. Yes, we have it because we're not supposed. to. Okay, so that doesn't take a slot. Correct. All right. It just Stretch for that. some reason. You hold on, to uh, that big dog. I, this I is a, thank you for being a good showman. I forgot to say in the last episode, so I appreciate the mm-hmm. softball here. Join that for part. some reason it was already registered at the museum to Hughes. You did say that. I just don't. No, no, you were reminding sure me to tell the audience, so thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Stewie, what are you taking? I think I'm going to take that espresso. Ooh. And what else? <laughs> what? The House of Cards. It makes a house shelter? Is that mm-hmm. like during combat it has I think protection? That's or? Part of the D? Nope, it's a different thing. So oh, first, the espresso you're describing basically gives you free actions for drinking espresso, which three uses. Uh, it's something we made up. It's not something people at home know. The second is that House of Cards is literally a House of Cards, and you just throw it on the ground, and it makes a literal house. It's not the same as the deck. Okay. I, I'll take those two. Okay. I'm going to have my little, it's like a little Sailor Moon spin around action sequence where I'm zipping up the calf high boots. <laughs> <laughs> really, like that Patrick from SpongeBob scene where he's got his foot out. Yes. Hell yeah. So magic shoes typically bend and move to fit you. Do you want calf high boots still? I like them higher? knee high. They are knee high boots. Okay. Perfect. What color are they? They're black and they're leather. Okay. Not leather, they're um, latex. Do they have like the combat boot heel? It's, yeah, they can have a, a thick heel on them. Okay. Matt score is redacted. Uh, <laughs> I'm seeing that scene in SpongeBob with Patrick and the fishnets. And the, That's uh, exactly like, what I got. <laughs> it's exactly right. How do you roll for the deck of many things? You would say. Or not the, the miscellany. I'm pulling out cards and then we just fucking roll for it. Okay. Basically. Do we get to take our birthday presents with us? Yeah, I'm Oh, nice. Well, I mean, they are yours. You guys gave them to each other. I'm going to resharpen them my sword. What was your birthday present? Could you remind us? Um, it's opium and concentrate for me, so. We didn't even get to 30 episodes. We already have drug concentrate. <laughs> You've invented fentanyl, is what you said. <laughs> No, opium's better. Uh, I think I think I'll change my mind and not take the pearl. Oh, and I'll take I'll take the sunglasses. Okay. Uh, and the what was that? Okay, the sunglasses and what was that? So you guys are done. Pearls open. I'm gonna take the deck. The deck and there's two slots. The shoes. Deck the and the shoes. Striding. Got it. This side's done. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Huh? yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, for I go. Oh, oh. Um, do can a cleric wield a halberd? Why not? Without disadvantage, because it's obvious. Yeah, but it's a magic Christmas. What? Oh, not Christmas. What was it? Oh no, it was Christmas. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was magic Christmas halberd. How do you feel about that? Ha! Yeah, sure. Well, that's funny. Cause I nickel and dimed him. Damn bastards! For that, I draw a card. Just kidding. Oh, there's a there's precedent. A lot of magic weapons specifically say when you attune them, you gain proficiency with the magic weapon. Like a lot of them. Do. I'm taking mm-hmm. the Bananaconda. Okay. Oh, even though Valar said he liked it. Well, I think he was trolling it. But then I'm going to say... Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to say... Shavin, I think you could also speak to this Bananaconda if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I could certainly try. Is there something you think you'd want to take? My Bananaconda don't? My Bananaconda don't? No. My banana kind of don't that want. Don't what? None. Is if you got one. Would you like the I sunglasses? Like seven, hun. No. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody make their final. <laughs> I, I am going here. last. Everybody pick the items. 
and the time card is also taken. No, no one has no. taken a single take, time card. I will take the time. Oh, do I have to, I have to pick a time Pick a person, card. yes. <laughs> How are you feeling? You can take him if you want. <laughs> Bring Nickel and Dime. Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. Can Aaron play Nickel and Dime? He will I'm have to Aaron. voice it. <laughs> I, I'm bringing Nickel and Dime. Okay, you've grabbed Nickel and Dime's time card. <laughs> Just summon him immediately. <laughs> <laughs> He's like... He's on the window. Hey, hey Nickel, you go with this guy, Hemp. You guys seem alike. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Is they this did? a once per arc summon? Yes, but they last a day. Okay. You theoretically could take two time cards if you want. Oh, but no, not the same person, because no, obviously they need a break. I want the pearl. Pearl and time card. Okay, we're coming down to the wire here. I'll, I'll take the immovable rod. Oh. All right, Foray. I'll, t- I'll take the Holly Jolly Halberd and the Banana Conda. Okay. All right, you guys have Banana finally Conda beaten dough. inventory management. I'm proud of you. Uh, it's one of the toughest things in the game. Let's... Banana Conda dough. Are you saying Banana, Banana Conda dough down now unless you... Into your... Unless you got it. <laughs> oh, my God. Which hot dog buns. What do the boots of speed do? Basically, every day you get ten minutes of super speed, which is double your speed. That's what I have. You have. Striding. Oh, you have. Yeah, you took the striding and springs. Oh yeah, yeah. Which is. It basically lets you jump up to your movement. There's some math involved, but frankly, it'd be easier to just say you can jump. Jump distance, which just means you can jump thirty feet instead of running. Sweet, perfect. Yeah, pretty much. So you can anytime you want to leap, we'll just be like, sure, and we won't do the math. But there is technically math if you care about that. Cool. Okay. Now, I would love to go back to the tense moment we left you before the shopping montage. <laughs> you guys had just appeared on a landing craft of some kind, um, and ahead of you were, like, black shorelines. Um, we left off on Albear, but before we get there, Foray had stepped on a mechanical device. There is a battle raging in front of you. You see people in kind of in black soldierly robes and clothes firing some kind of white blasts into... The rocks, you see skeletons there manning a bone lista. They've got various siege weapons, a giant coming down. There's commanding officers. But none of that matters to you guys because in front of you, Foray explodes and his entire body is atomized. Six seconds later, Foray reappears as a skeleton, points his weapon at you all, and you hear jazz music. Before you can even react one round of combat, you disappear and find yourselves in a familiar bar. For the bartender, it appears to be closing up shop. Foray, you're even there. And he says, Whoa, now this is a surprise. You've made a mistake, haven't you? She was to be uh, something I always get myself. Ah, Foray, we met at Dino Rodeo. And he comes around the bar. Old-timey man, vest, slacks, bow tie, kind of looks like it's maybe made of chain. Uh, Offers your handshake. Show you sand. Can I get you anything? My no, condolences on your loss of yourself. Can I do a uh, old fashioned, mm. extra orange? Anyone else? Oil. <laughs> I'm good. I'm full. Starts on the old fashioned. And Villar, it's been so long. Good to see you here again. My regular. Love that guy. How do you know Villar? Well, you want to tell him? We've met once or twice. No, don't be modest. We have a deal, an understanding. Oh, and to remind you all, this guy was in the picture hugging Hugh's dad. Mm. What do you know about low fructose, (laughs) Buster? (laughs) Low. Uh, I can't talk about that. Why? I can't talk about that. Yeah, but, but like why? Straightens up his bow tie and says, I can't talk about that. Shark, give him your bow tie. Or real tie. Get him. That's a good idea. I can do that too, and you can't handle the truth. <laughs> okay, roll on your check. <laughs> yes, let's go. Oh. We're back, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, give me a good one. What is what? Oh, yeah. Your intimidation, but it was a strength based intimidation. What's our resist? Is it constitution? <laughs> uh, it's a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Unnatural 20. Really? That's big. Mm. I'm doing this for you, you. He can't lie. Yeah, but I know he doesn't have to tell the truth, which is stupid. Isn't it fun? Oh, yeah. I love semantics. Uh, you have it. Is low fructose alive? I can't talk about that. <laughs> Man, this guy sucks. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> I don't... Bartender, usually. Jesus Christ, this guy's a wall. <laughs> this guy sucks. Balo, I think they used to call me. Oh, uh, that's better. Now we're getting sucked. Okay, that's a name. 
I will step forward and, and ask, uh, what do you have planned for me? Oh, I just want to give you a reminder. Although I wasn't expecting to see you guys today. At least not so soon. This whole thing you're doing, you guys stepped in it this time. <laughs> Something's wrong about this place. Oh, uh, you left this. And he produces the card um, that was left on the beach after 4A blew up. The card that we had been given to you guys says, create a god as your first objective. Oh. Uh, who wants this? I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Tall order. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I had a good laugh when I saw that one. Yeah, well, can you have a good laugh while you make me a Negroni? <laughs> I guess. Thank you. Passes you the old-fashioned. Gets to work. This All is right. a treat for me. Mm. You know, usually I ask people who give me things their full name. Mm. Yeah. So what's your full name? Your government, if you will. Yeah. Well, Social security? <laughs> which... <sighs> Any Would, I, owed no. a lot of lives, man. A lot of lives. Okay. Okay. Last known as Thalo. Now called the bartender. Help sometimes. Why are we here? Where are we? This is sort of my space. Um, a place for wayward individuals. Oh, my and music. <laughs> and my name is Tom. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a nice place you got here. Is this right, place thanks. connected to the museum? It didn't used to be. No, but it is now. Mm. Got him. <laughs> Good question. Where was this when we uh, we got there earlier? Don't think I'll answer that. I think you should. No, I can't lie right now. Yeah. So I'm not going to so say... So you should tell the truth? I'm going to say nothing instead. Who do you work for? I can't talk about that. Can you make me a gamlet? I guess. Do you like losing? No. <laughs> well, we're going to play a game where the first person to answer that question wins. <laughs> <laughs> You got him on the ropes. <laughs> where I want he him. thinks about it for a second and says, Man, I don't like losing. Ah, six a little tight. I don't think I can play that game. Ooh, okay. If I cut that bow tie off, would things improve for you? He no. He's pouring the drinks and mixing, and he has a lap. <laughs> you can't. This is above your pay grade. Okay, I'm going to make my hand into a rapier, and I'm going to slash at the bow tie. All right, make an attack. His head's going to fall off like the lady with the purple ribbon. <laughs> it's 25. Okay, you do hit it. Um, it is some sort of like magical steel metal or something. Uh, there's a loud like metal on metal sound of like the two clanging. Um, you get hit with like, you know when you like hit something with a bat or something metallic and you hit it like wrong, it like shocks you back and there's like your hands go numb. That is what you feel right away. Like whatever you've done is like not enough. Ooh, ouch! Whoa, it's the first time I've heard you take harm. He goes, uh, wait for it. Oh, God. It's like, it gets tighter, and then you can see, like, a little blood coming down. And he goes, I hate this thing, man. Everybody works for somebody, you know? Are you cursed? <laughs> I can't talk about that. He's cursed. <laughs> That's my, am I always cursed? Inside. Alive? Any yep. Your spells? Yep. Okay. I'd like to do detect evil and good. Ooh. Ooh. Please remind us what that one does. That has some interesting caveats. <sighs> Please hold. <laughs> the spell itself is a five-paragraph essay on the morality of Dungeons and & Dragons and what that means. So I think it's fun when Caleb has to read that and tell us what it means. <laughs> Do we, should we come back to you? It was the last card. Jesus. Jesus, of course. <clears throat> Vitheration, you know if there's an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead within 30 feet of you? Wait, that would be me. Because mm -hmm. it's technically undead. You said I'd... Oh, no, you're yourself again. In this place, you're yourself again. Okay, so we all got vaporized. Kind of. Um, it was more like a quick fade out. Like, like a, a fade blink? black. Like a blink? Oh, you could say that. Like around a six-second blink. Ah, oh, interesting. Hmm. Curious. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't even know what he's uh, you know if there, there's, uh, there's a place or object within 30 feet of you that has been magically consecrated or desecrated? Mm -hmm. The spell cannot penetrate most barriers, uh, can penetrate most barriers, but is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common material, a thin sheet of lead, or a, or three foot, uh, three feet of wood or dirt. Give me a spell attack. Let's see how this goes for you. Yeah, it's made out of lead and it blocks it. <laughs> He's he is lead man. Yeah. Ooh, uh, nineteen. Okay, you. Oh, how many times have you done this before in your life? Is this something you do often? Not, not previous foray, but new monk foray. Oh, so this is like a new thing for you. This is like a thing that we haven't cared to do because we always knew we were on the right side of history. God bless. God bless. You 
you're getting so much stimulus, magical stimulus at once. You are also canonically on the right side of every history because you write them all, just to be clear. But um, you immediately have an overwhelming magic presence of celestial, fiendish, undead, and all three of those hit you at once from the bartender in front of you. You canonically come in your pants. You canonically come in your pants. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say that's gonna feel weird, and then you saw. Oh. Anyways, so all three. Do I pick up anything from Valar? Uh, probably Celestial. He's um, Asimarian. Yes. So he likes ASMR? Yes. Just kidding. So you said, uh, sorry, what? It was, it was uh, Celestial, Fae. Fiendish, and Undead. Celestial, Fiendish, Undead? Okay, got it. Got it. That's cute. You could have just asked. Hey, what are you, brother? I dabbled in the celestialness of the mm-hmm. universe, and then I was something else, perhaps a different outside. Why do you care? Your friend has done all the hand waving necessary. We have communication issues. Oh, yeah. uh, parrot. Anyways, um, let me tell you this, pal. One does not just dabble in being a celestial. One does not just become a fiend one day, but you can become an undead. Oh my god, you are becoming real adventurers before my eyes. Yeah, no, that's a great question. That's really cute. I was an adventurer before this, but it's fine. Ah, the Solar Navy. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know this about his Solar Navy, but um, kind of gruesome what they did to those places they went to. Not the best guy you're traveling with. Oh, you would be surprised by the quality of man with us. <laughs> You buying this whole probably. spiritual renaissance thing he's doing? No, particularly, but he's still like probably third or fourth up on the uh, tier list right there. <laughs> I gotta be honest, those with uh, ice knives should not cast stones. Oh, two compared to planets <laughs> and three-year-olds. I've not slayed a single three-year-old. He asked. It's true. And it was just it was justified. But I'm not. I'm not gonna, <laughs> next time we get to ask, we'll find out if mine was too. Yeah, <laughs> mine was self defense. <laughs> I'm not here oh, to cry over blue. Did you use the present? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that your script? Ah, oh, we left it for you. Yeah, me and Pharaoh. Guy loves a good show. So why would you give it to me? I can't talk about that. Do I, okay, because he thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Pharaoh loves it. He loves a good laugh. He was the photographer of that picture, right? Yes. How did you... I talked to him. He actually already squealed on like your whole operation <laughs> here, but I wanted to hear from you. <laughs> I said we shouldn't have hired him. That guy was an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> the jig is up. Charlie. Whatever you are hiding, you should probably tell us. I can't talk about that, man. I tried. I wrote, <laughs> I wrote a screenplay if you want it. Why? Why does anybody do anything? Okay, what's it about? And what's on page 48? Flip through. That's pretty cute. So where'd you get that bow tie? I want to read it. What's it called? I can't talk about it. You know, what they, you know what they say? Bow ties, they tell a lot about a man. Yeah, bow ties are worth a thousand words. I'll Is that what they say? I'll say, hey, you got a minute to your bow tie. The bear screams, no, I swear I'm not a bug. <laughs> I'm just a bear. <laughs> That's a screenplay. What's yeah. it called? I really want to read the book. This thing. is interesting. When a bug came I had bail. thought you might do something like this. And so now I'm ready. I got an idea, which is a contest of wills, sir. Oh, wow. A, charisma saving throw with the dice. This has never you. happened to me before. I would like to... I'd like I, to uh, Bardic inspiration. Or, yeah, you can yes, you can help. This is a 24. Wow. Yeah, bardic inspiration. What's your charisma you modifier? You. My charisma, charisma saving throw. Oh, oh, saving throw. Oh, charisma saving throw mm-hmm. is... Plus two. So you can't. Well, oh, oh, oh. well, no, you can't with the Bardic Inspiration. And or a natural normal. 20. And, in, and the Guidance, can that, does that stack? Does mine and her stack? Uh, what did you do? Bardic Inspiration. That would work. Guidance as well. Which okay. means you get an additional D4 afterwards. Would this. Enhance Ability also stack? <laughs> if you want to do like this, a spirit yes. bomb. But you, have to, you, have to, you have to cast the right one. It's I, like, I think then Eagle what's Stander. happening here is you guys see him do his like flipping. Hey, you got a minute. He does this all the time, right? It's funny. And when he says it, there's like a moment where you can see like the air between these two, him and this object, start to like bend in space. Something is happening right now. Uh, and you guys have a moment to be like, oh, Jesus Christ, like help him. It's I a massage his shoulders. It's a charisma. Charisma <laughs> saving. <laughs> my eyes are rolling in the charisma? back of my head like, yeah. I do like it. a eagle splendor. I thought you, so now you, you have advantage. Wisdom? It's a charisma save. Oh, my bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see. All right. Ah. <laughs> It's a good thing I gave you Eagle Splinter. <laughs> Does that b- Wait, boost it by 20? He gets advantage. You get advantage. Reload. 
first one. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We don't want the first one anyway. It's only up from, from here. Uh, Yahoo! <laughs> it is up. Oh. It's higher. <laughs> Yeah, Could you get there with a four and a six? So no, ten. No. What's your save? Mine's a four. It'd be a it's not. Yeah. No, yeah. I can't get there. Highest we could get is nineteen. So there's no shot. Yeah. Hey, it was a good try. Yeah, yeah it was a good try. Yeah, sure is. He did not have a minute. You get some people are busy. You get an angry like you get a mental flash of like an angry shadow face, like kind of looking in your direction. Um, and for a moment, Hugh like loses touch with himself. You must go up on stage and sing a jazz number for a full minute. The duration of Hey You Got a Minute. I have to sing a jazz number? Mm-hmm. You're working here. Some, someone help me out. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, you can just scat a little bit if you want. Wait. Scat. You can also oh, yeah. skibbity bop. <laughs> what were you going to say, Shark? Tell me, tell me what color the skies are. Well, you see skies of what? <laughs> <laughs> skies are skies are blue. Red roses. <laughs> Shark I comes in his face. <laughs> Follow me and you. When he's singing, like a full old timey suit appears on him, like on stage, <laughs> and the bartender's like, "Oh man, you shouldn't have tried that. That's funny." And I think to myself, <laughs> what a wonderful world. All right, you're free. You're back. <laughs> well, you find yourself on stage like wearing a suit. Nice. I'll take it. <laughs> cool suit. Hey, uh, I feel our time here is growing short. I did want to ask a lot of questions, but everything you guys did was way more important than that. I wanted to tell you one more thing, Bilar, which is that don't you remember how you found your power in the first place? I do. How was that? I don't actually. You made a promise <laughs> looking for power. That's a right. vow of vengeance. Yes. Okay. Do you think that maybe you could do the same thing for that sword, the one that I gave you? I thought you'd figure it out by now. Damn, that's a good boy. <laughs> um, okay, I think... Um, I feel like Valar would have to be in a moment... Um, like emotional moment that is not this to find himself back there like in that headspace to want something that bad um, so like he'll try but it's, I don't think it's going to work right he, here. maybe if it was the same feeling but is there a different one that you could call on here or would want to is this an open like, yes. your, like your love for me <laughs> would that work? I don't know if that would work, but his love for me might work. Oh. <laughs> um, My voice is all over the fucking place today. Where's Rachel? <laughs> I guess I can. I'll like put my hand on my shield, like on the insignia, and close my eyes, and that will. I'll think of my family, and that will glow, and then also the symbol on his anchor will start to glow as well. Okay. Um, what do you feel in this moment that you are going to get revenge, that you're going to protect them? Like, what's going through your mind? Other than um, thinking of your lost family. It's, it's vengeance, yeah. You are thinking of vengeance, uh, and you all see the pieces of this broken sword that he produces from, uh, I think he had a scabbard on his belt. Um, and they slowly start to assemble as Valar is having this thought, this promise to himself that I will get the vengeance with these people and see my family again. Uh, at least in a way that, you know, eternal battle would. When you are done, the sword is fully assembled and you watch as it starts to heat up, starts to get to that red metal point and fully just bursts into sunlight. And the blade itself is a lightsaber, basically. Um, a name comes to mind for this sword. It is called Patricide. Um, and what it does is is a plus one sword, so plus one to hidden damage. Hang on, hang on. That's a mm-hmm. fire name. That's <laughs> really good. That is actually sick. Thank you. But it, this is his character. It's your moment. It's his. Big dog. Okay, it's a plus one to attack. Yep, and damage. It only ever does radiant damage because it's made of light. And for the purposes of smite, celestial is considered one of the damaged race. So if you smite, it's not just Phoenix or Undead. It's celestial. And then if you smite, it always does full damage to everyone. They can't resist any of it. 
Oh, um, mm-hmm. So what is like the damage roll? Is it whatever my flail was? Yep. Plus whatever. One? What this can basically this sword will take whatever weapon shape you want. Okay. If you want it to be a flail, fine. It'll do flail damage. I just you know, trying to equate with the damage. It's a weapon of light, brother. It can be whatever you want it to be. Eight plus. Have you four. played Soul Caliber, the one guy who has like the spear that like changes into different weapons as you swing? No, but that does sound like it. I'm going to pull out my axe and close my eyes and go, oh, I never knew my father. <laughs> and open them. You Fuck. Actually, your axe is magic if you've forgotten episode like two There's of something Space with blood. I forget what it does. <laughs> Question. It's like, uh, I have the sword that Hugh gave me. Mm-hmm. Am I proficient in that? Because I don't know how to use swords. <laughs> no. I was going to say. <laughs> Unless you tell me that you went to sword camp as a kid. No. Okay, I was just going to say, because now I don't have a sword that I can't use. Sword camp. <laughs> but it's conversing so with it your cool. axe, you feel like your axe has, is hungry, actually. Uh, and you, there, it does, you do feel a little something. I think it probably surprises you, because back in the days of Spaceport, you said you never took care of your axe, you never looked after it, but somehow it was still there. For the first time, you feel something coming back. Wow. Hey, buddy, I'm going to name it Patrick. <laughs> Pretty sure you named it the Judge Executioner or something silly. I changed it this time. Okay, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I just, sorry, out of character and trying to be clear. Yeah, the uh, super cool laser sword we all talked over. Yeah, yeah it so. does. <laughs> uh, the effect on it is Divine Smite always adds the extra D8. Yes, two Celestials on top of the usual stuff. Okay. So normally it's Fiendish and Undead. That's now it's sick. also Celestial, so you can kill your perfect father. Uh, plus one damage and to hit. Mm-hmm. And it always does radiant damage, everything, including like the slashing and bludgeoning or piercing or whatever. Okay. I'm going to take the sword that he gave me because I'm looking at it now. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I promise this isn't a main thing. I do like it. I'm going to break it over my knee so that one is now a dart, like the end of it, and the other half's a dagger. I need so I can actually... a strength check to break a sword over <laughs> Well, this knee. man's a strong little guy, isn't he? I love when we try to DM. <laughs> <laughs> I just desperately want it. Um, strength, uh, 11. No, but the but the bartender sees what you're doing and laughs at you. What are you doing? I can't use a sword, asshole. So I'm trying to make it a dagger. Yeah. Oh, I mean, stop man. being mean to me, man. Oh, uh, I have a suggestion for Patricide. Uh huh. <clears throat> On the hilt, where like I guess a gem or something. Would this go. is your sword, so whatever this is, yes. Can I slot Maximo into it so he becomes part of the sword? Yeah. And then it can change yeah. like colors like he does. Yes. Um, I also love, I don't know if originally said Maximo could give you the help action, mm-hmm. but I think he should be able to as part of the sword. That would be sick. Yes. So, yes. Oh, yes. oh for cool. sure. That's, That's fantastic. Cool. That's so sick. Also, what That's if like, it was Maximo's spiritual weapon to say? What if Maximo? Oh, that? That's so weird. I wonder if we're going to do something with that later on. That'd be cool. That I just thought of right now, but yes. <laughs> hey, like a one bartender, story. what's going to happen to Foray when we go back? Do we go back? What's happening? Ah, uh, yeah. So, and as it's he's still, talking, I don't want to know. Okay, but this is for people who listen. Um, <laughs> we want to know. <laughs> you guys stepped in something strange there, and uh, <laughs> really, Foray stepped in something. Yeah, I was say we is a big term. Uh, and you guys are starting to fade out. Uh, uh, I'll see you again soon. Um, and you guys kind of like feel like you're being pulled away from this space, uh, like a wind comes by. Um, and as you guys are like experiencing this like shifting of realities, that wind turns into a seaside breeze and you find yourself back on the lander, although the door hasn't closed yet. Um, it's a few moments before you had landed previously. Out of character, when you guys disappear, this is for the players because you have, you've actually solved this very well you see that one of the windows, which has typically been dark in that bar area, very faintly looks like the lobby of the museum, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's sort of kind of illuminating or coming into focus. Mm -hmm. And the bartender walks over with a little smile and he says, well, that's fortuitous. But back to the lander. What you actually see in this closed boat is like seven dead soldiers wearing like this, you know, black kind of leather standard issue armor with their magic items that look like Guns or blasters, I've given you guys those. The pulses, they're called, kind of strewn about. And one woman who's like got like tight brown hair, like under a helmet, smoking a cigarette, kind of sitting in the corner. Other than that, just a hundred razor sharp bone shards like in all the walls and stuff like that. When you appear, she says, 
Who the hell are you guys? Oh. New recruits here to win a war. <laughs> New recruits don't just show up in the boat. Well, we do, I suppose. Hey, you know what? I don't care. You guys feeling lucky? Nope. Yep. You want to join my squad? <laughs> yep. Sure. All right. Well, um, <laughs> there were exactly seven openings, so that's cool. Duck! He goes, a, a whole skeleton goes flying over the boat. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to land soon. You can take their guns and pulses, um, and uh, we're going to take Black Beach. I don't know how you guys got here. Could not think of a worse place to be right now. But uh, I'm the best there is, and uh, name's Liv. If you're the best there is, why are you on like this infantry ship on the front lines? I volunteer. That's where the best goes. Uh, I don't think so. Usually they're commanding positions. No, 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 no. I ain't one of them sole commanders. I got this, and she holds up her gun, and it kills boneheads. And I'm going to take Black Beach, and I'm going to get there, and I'm going to stop these deadheads from ruining our planet. What are they doing to your planet? Where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> Sycamore Beach. Beautiful place. Place sucks. <laughs> now with the undead sea serpents, yeah. <laughs> I'm from a cooler place. Which is? Place of like candy and hippos. We nah, it's two different places. I'm kidding with you. I just happen to <laughs> be a candy hippo. For a, be careful. That oh man, you got like heads. undead candy giants there? <laughs> no, we don't have undead there. It's just kind of like all good stuff. Oh man. Like everything's nice. That doesn't sound real. It's, well, it is. It's what do you know? You're making me mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not a soul commander. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just Venus. Hey. Hey. How's, how's it going? Good. I'm What's Venus kill- look like? What? No, no, no. That's my rank. I'm Venus. Oh. <laughs> like you guys... To, uh, I'd like to... I guess do some insight on her like insignias or like whatever sure. she has or like I guess it'd be more of a passion. How about a like a history uh, of some kind, knowledge of a history, like war? And I'll give you advantage because you have seen various like ranking structures. All right. Unless you have you wanna just like go and try and get something. I was gonna say like if I could just see like the patch, because typically sure. you wouldn't see that much, but I can also infer infer from You can do an insight as yelling. well. Or maybe an investigation if you were kind of checking out the because remember there are several dead people that she's saying you can have their gear. There's plenty of examples of the patch if you want it. There's no way. Natural 20? No, it was six. I see. You made the natural 20 face, so I was just assuming. No, I just could not believe that I rolled that badly. Okay, well, you see the patch. What it looks like... I got it. Thank you. What it looks like is a four-leaf clover on top of, like, a bleeding heart. Uh, It just says, like, lives luckies. I got this. I sounded like Mahler again. Fuck. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Hey, how many ranks are there and which number are you? God, there's like at least ten. Uh, I'm like two or three up. That's not very That's not very good. Well, I got my own squad, so that's more than I can say for you. You guys don't even have a uniform. Where is your squad? Two points, the dead people. <laughs> Didn't duck. <laughs> are, you, are you telling me we're part of the E5 Mafia right now? I don't know what that means. Jesus I just want to get out there and shake this thing. And she like holds up her gun. Boys, we are the bottom of the No, we are so spec ops. We don't have any uniforms or anything. She gives you like a look. Mm-hmm. Huh. Wouldn't be talking about those exercisers, would you? Nope. Don't know who that is. Nope. They must also be spec ops because we don't really talk to each other because we're so special operative. <laughs> she takes a long drag and says... Yeah, you didn't make any sense. Does, uh, <laughs> is Ontar- Ontario still here? What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the planet that I'm from. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you see the planet you were from? Yeah. I'm not from a planet. It's not called Ontario. It's a place on the... It's okay. Okay. You're insane. We're just, no, we're just not from the same place. Oh, like spiritually? Sure. Doc, and then like another skeleton comes Ooh. flying over <laughs> I feel like you're not trying to connect me, with me that hard, but that's okay. Cause... Well, here's the thing. You, oh, I'm sorry about that. Welcome aboard. And she offers you the traditional salute. They hold out their left arm, um, and she's waiting for you to do something. Yeah. I'm going to, oh. I believe she wants a fist bump. Yeah, I'm going to and... watch her face as I kind of go like this. Oh, uh, that's not it. I'm going to grab her wrist. Okay. There is a strong pulse. <laughs> oh, nice. Good forearm on you. Got some beef on there for sure. You gonna, I'm your commanding officer. You're going to return that salute? Sure. Other arm. Okay. Well, 
Myra. You guys go through training? She grabs it. Oh, we Good don't. pulse. Thank you. That's oh, that's fun. Fiona. <laughs> Other arm. Oh. <laughs> What the? And she like points the gun at you. The hell is that guy? You one of them bones? Them boneheads? No, 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 no. He's our friend. He's with us. I am not bone. I am metal. Kind of looks me down. Well, you do look different. Hey, uh, say something an undead wouldn't say. Uh, I sure do like being alive. Give me a persuasion. <laughs> I put the sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, you got them on. Delay <laughs> 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 is actually. Is it advantage? Yeah. Yes, you have advantage, and I have disadvantage. Yes. Which is hilarious. All right, it's a good thing I have. Charm oh, charm spells. Okay, got it. Uh, oh, so I, it doesn't work for this. That was for me, but you still roll. Uh, it's advantage. a thirteen. So she got a five, uh, and she says, "Let me try that again." Sure. Grab your arm. Oh, I just missed it. Sorry. I can do this, though. No, I just like... <laughs> <laughs> I hand it to him. I'm like... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the... Oh, you can also do this. I'm going to put my hand inside and start talking. <laughs> <laughs> be like, oh, I'm alive. You guys are insane. That's awesome. Well, I need some crazy people by my arms before we get in there and probably I'll die. <laughs> Well, we won't die. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. I mean, it's pretty pretty likely that we'll die. We nope. just saw me get blown up by a monster. You did already die, yeah. Huh? Huh? It's, different uh, different yeah, timeline. Yeah. yeah. yeah different yeah. timeline. What? Forget that. What do those guns do? Well, what? they're pretty simple. And then she kind of holds them up. She pre- like pulls out like a small box. She shows you inside there's a crystal. This is the power source. You guys really didn't get their training? Uh, I'd like to incite the power source. Okay. I would like to arcana check to see okay. if I know how to just impulse it or whatever. Sure. Sorry, the, the dice is too heavy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, the, 17. Okay. Um, you kind of come up, inspect it. Oh, 19, I'm sorry. Actually. Oh, even better. Uh, you think it's some sort of naturally occurring magical crystal. A 15. Uh, yeah, 15 is more than enough. These okay. are designed for grunts. Oh, perfect. Um, and do you start doing that? Yeah, I, I like switch it up like... Oh, <laughs> so you did go through training, but... What he's doing is the secondary mode. This crystal, you need to, and she like blows on it like an like a Nintendo cartridge. <sighs> Charge up with the breath of life. Then she puts it back in. After that, four shots. Then you got to do it again. Point it at the deadheads. Fire takes them down quick. But you can do what he's doing, and if you prefer your own weapon, you can augment it with undead killing power. Man, I love these things. And she just fires it off into the air like four times. Reloads I, it. Fires it off into the air four times. Reloads it. I use magic, so I'm like, oh, I guess so. How about cast. your sticks? Well, I cast from the mouth. So oh, you should swallow it. Oh. <laughs> I like try to, and I like really have a wide mouth, and I'm like, that shit's not fitting. <laughs> <laughs> gonna... What are the chances you're going to want this to be a gun again? Um, probably not high. You go to swallow it, you accidentally chip a tooth. Ow, my beautiful. And it smile. like replaces itself as part of your tooth. Oh, oh. <laughs> a cool tooth now, guys. <laughs> That really shrunk down quite a sizable amount, I think. Like a little bit, like falls to the floor as like a dispowered crystal now. And she looks at it and she's like, that was weird. Hmm. Can you do anything cool? Um, well, and then I'm just gonna, I'll just do it. Is the, is it open on top? or? Is yeah, it- it's like open sky, but you're in a metal box. I'm basically. just gonna cast fire bolt up. Okay. Yeah, and it's got a slight twinge of radiant damage as well. So there's some light kind of effect having. Yard. Well, I'll be, huh. Okay, maybe we got a shot after all. I'm going to impulse my axe. Okay. Patrick. And I will impulse patricide. Oh, I don't think you're going to keep your stupid ass gun, man. I'm going to be all with you. Hugh, what are you thinking? Gun or upgrade? I'm just going to keep the gun. Okay. I've been proven wrong. It um, is a like the weapon of the common soldier, so I'm sure you guys will run into more if you get crazy. How about you? I'm going to keep the gun. I'll keep the gun as well. Okay. We'll take some I'll keep it Okay. Um... She says, wait, hang on a minute. Oh, and she like, looks up. She's like, any minute now? And then a red flare kind of streaks across the sky. Ah, yeah. That's our 10-minute warning. Guys, we're going to hit the beach soon. Listen, I don't know you. You don't know me, but you're the best now. We're lucky we get through this. So our first order is to take the ridge. There's some kind of bone list is up there. I think we just get in there, shake them up, see what happens. Huh? Sounds good. I'm going to cast shape self 
You get 10 feet so I can see over everything. Okay, so you pop your head up over the lander. At, uh, ooh, ooh, as he's doing that, I'm going to do the Moses, like drop the staff, Cavendish, and I'm getting on my banana conda, which is 30 feet high. If you make the banana conda in this tiny lander, just kill us over. Wait, he just, he said, you said he was getting 10 feet high. He's just getting tall. Yeah. So is the, you the go banana. No, the banana oh, conda is okay. huge. Yeah, it's All right. Well, it's bigger than the boat. I will ready the banana conda to ride in like the against the okay. of the lander. That's the campaign. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the campaign. I forgot we were still on the lander. Yeah, currently on the lander, yes. Yeah. Who's going to yell? You, are you going peaking distance? No, I want to just like tower. Like I want to look at everything. Got it. Okay. You right now or when you get there? Just right, right now. Give right. me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> yeah, I knew this was coming. <laughs> It'll be worth it though. That's a uh, sixteen or seventeen. Okay, there is a full skeleton being launched out of the bone lista that will hit you unless you get out of the way. This is gonna hurt me. It looks like it's launched like at weapon velocity. Okay, I'll shrink back. Okay, you can also just duck. It's a dexterity save. You oh, okay. I'll just duck. Okay. Can I aid by, by pulling it, like 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 uh, adjusting its trajectory by pulling it to one side? What, the staff? No, the guy flying at him. Oh, it's flying over the top of the boat. He's just, the only reason he can be hit is because he's stretched outside of the wall. I understand, okay. So that's what it is. But if you want to get up there and do some crazy money. No, I was going to try to assist his dexterity save. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he doesn't need it. Yeah, you see right. that guy? Yeah, of course. You duck. You've got a full view of the battlefield. Um, given that you can see it now, you are realizing that the boat is coming in for a landing exactly where it was before, in the exact same space where the landmines were. All right. Good news. We're at a different spot, so we should be able to <laughs> charge at them from a good angle. Since that's a straight up lie, do we, do we, does he have to roll a deception check? Yeah, let's PvP this one. Yeah. If we you have, want to do deception, to. you we can do to. you can do uh, insight. I'm not well, I'm not asking it. like, wouldn't we? I, I, no, this is this is a dangerous lie. You can insight if you want. <laughs> I got a Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't, I don't think <laughs> I just got an eight. I don't think you would ever lie to me. So I'm not <laughs> yeah, you're, it's your choice. Your, your characters will well, do what it, you want. Well, basically, what you're doing is a straight up lie. So you say it maybe with your shaky voice. And you it's just a lie. He rolled an eight. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I rolled a seventeen. So, so you know, it's lying. not that it How about I uh, fl- fly up and peek my head over? Give me a dexterity so saving throw. I can, I'm going to be like, well, when this is bad, and I'm going to roll my little pull card from the deck. All right. It's a 32, so give me like 2d20s, and we'll just we'll use those. Uh, I, did a, I did a 12 and a d20 if that works. Because that should be No, good. because there's a... Res- uh, shoot. Let's do d100, and I'll just okay, do... Because basically, I want to avoid... There's no way for you on two dice to get a, a zero or a one, okay. because then those results don't exist. So, so d100. Drew. I rolled an 18. Um, to, okay, you dodged it as well. 43. 40. Oh, boy. Oh, that's one of those big giants. I was like, thunderstorm. 21. That's wow. like right in the middle. Uh, no, 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 no. Coming down. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, wow. That's actually really funny. Um, so we have a couple things going on at once. You flew up. You know it's the same spot. You dodged the skeleton. Uh, you guys are kind of eye in eye now. Liv sees you guys doing this insane shit, and she goes, <laughs> you guys are crazy. And she also climbs to the top and just stands there proudly. Can I protect whatever attack is coming at her? Uh, it's an area attack. It's basically oh, like okay. bone fireball. Okay. Um, she gets hit by the skeleton and goes, ow. Well, not so lucky that time. Uh, it looks like a serious blow, like 10 damage. Um, the item you pull out of the deck um, is a healer's kit. It is a basically a leather doctor's bag. Nice. Uh, as an action, you can use it to stabilize a creature with zero hit points without needing to make a check. You just stabilize oh, it. That's fucking huge. That's incredible, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Stabilizing just puts them up to one, right? No, no it means no, they're at zero, but not dying. Oh, yeah. okay. just... Okay. I'm sure we won't need that, Jail. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sure we won't need sure that. Sure we won't need that. <laughs> Anyone else want to do anything stupid before we land? Um, I will come back down to land okay. and say, uh, we've gone back in time. This is the same lander as before. I'm sorry, what did you say? This doesn't apply to you. I'm gonna need No, 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 I'm the commanding officer now, honey. This is an A to B conversation I'm gonna need. Yeah, and I'm A. I'm getting real tired of her. How hostile is our commanding officer right now? Uh, she said, yeah, and I'm A, and she looks sassy. I don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> what do you want to do here, Valar? Shit. Why did you lie to me, Hugh? Was I, that a joke? Valar's lying, not me. You didn't, you don't, you said you didn't want to know, so all you know is he's saying he's lying. <sighs> I wouldn't lie to you, Shark. God, so if I open that so door good. and I take a step out, I'm going to be okay. 
You'll be a hundred percent fine, but I'd recommend somebody else do it first. <laughs> Did anyone pass the insight to see yeah, if it was yeah, lying? You. Well, and well I got, they also. Yes, I, I got oh, the oh. Uh, yes, and you three. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to our commanding officer. What was your name again? Liv. Liv. Liv, honey, what's up? Liv, we gotta get on that beach ASAP. Oh, you know we do. And we're gonna be the first ones out there. We're gonna Isn't take that it. right, guys. Yep. yep. You you will lead the way, Commander. Sure. I swear, that was my plan anyway. Hey. All right, perfect. I'm gonna open the door. Wait, <laughs> commanding officer, what is the best way to avoid a landmine? Quick trivia. Don't step on it. Yeah, so take three steps out, turn around, tell us the punchline. That's weird. I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna kill some deadheads. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you punch open the lander door. Yep. It's the same scene. We can go to Albear. Just to be clear, we still think, I still think he's telling the truth because <laughs> I didn't roll. Uh, there's a, as you guys, as she's, you guys are doing this, punching the door, whatever, there's a furious scribbling in your uh, pack. Um, and the screenplay has a new, partially filled in page. Would you look at it or are we heading into the battle? I'll look at it real quick. It says, uh, it basically describes a scene where you have walked in on Olivia, Liv, in front of you, and the commanding officer of this entire raid in an inappropriate setting, and you kill the commanding officer. What? What does that mean? Like, they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing in a, an Air evening course. setting where they're perhaps they're doing boning. something inappropriate, <laughs> but you assassinate the commanding officer. Why would I do that? Just for fun, you think? Yeah. <laughs> the things you do prob- for fun, man. Probably. probably. There's like a footnote. It's like uh, state, like playwright's footnote, and it writes, hee hee. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds like something I'd do for yeah. fun. No. Out of character, I uh, guess, because I think you're... Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I'm not sure you're getting it. She's about to explode. Yeah, yeah no, I get that. Okay. <laughs> Which means think, we can't think, fulfill that. Yeah. No, I think the screenwright... The screenplay is like making propaganda of what happened. No, it's trying no. to tell us what to do. You have yeah, to do that like, to get so the she's exposed she's that dying, doesn't happen. She's dying yeah. to me to our... But we're not killing her in that. We're killing her commanding officer. I understand. Well, if she's dead, then it'll be easier to kill the commanding officer. So <laughs> We're fine. But does he have to walk in on them doing right. that? Right. I'm yes. just going to share the screenplay. What do you guys want me to do here? Are you saying that out loud? Yeah. I would never. Yeah, read this. You guys are like the, like at the beach. There's like skeletons flying over the door. So, like so I, I, I saw this. Before. What the hell? Oh my god, he's kind of cute. Nah, nah, nah. Now we want. I'm sorry, you seem upset. Uh, the beach. We need to take the beach, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I'll I'll confess. I lied. I wanted to see someone get blown up, but I'll grab something from my bag. I'll take a hammer out and I'll throw it on the landmine to blow it up. Okay, uh, so shark finally opens the door, comes down. There's bones flying everywhere. Bolts. You guys see like. The scene you see now on Albear, if you guys don't have it open, where the troops are coming up the water, firing, uh, and you throw a hammer and it lands on that landmine and nothing happens. Uh, it's only activated by organic tissue, it seems. Probably or flesh. Did All right, I'm going to go. Yeah? Did it land on top of the landmine yes. and like not move? Where you think? So the thing is, you're in the water right now. It's, a, it's hard to see exactly because it's a couple feet down in the water, but you're pretty sure that it landed exactly where he stepped on it. Can okay. Not- Sorry. Can I do a perception check to yes. like scan for other mm-hmm. landmines? Okay. I'd like to just shoot where I stepped. Okay. That's going to be... Uh, Make an attack roll. 19. You can see this landmine uh, now that you guys know it's there. And actually, you see one in most of the squares on the way to the beach. I see. Uh, 10. Uh, to hit? It's through the water, the whole reflective. It's. I take another shot. Okay, roll on attack. <laughs> what do you do with that information? Um, He's just firing into the water yeah, wildly. 17. I'm still... That one hits the landmine. It doesn't explode. It explodes. I, I see him in another landmine. Whoa! Damn! How did you know that was there? Is the shrapnel from the landmine uh, going to hit us? There's we like... about it being a spell. There's like a burst of necromantic energy in the water. And like black smoke, green smoke. After yep. that, it kind of dissipates. Also, as that happens, I'd like to detect magic to figure out what fucking spell it is. Um, you're casting it or ritual casting it? Oof. You mother trucker, make mm-hmm. me play by the rules. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I had to shoot another landmine. Uh, six. All right, so he's firing at all the landmines. I'll I'll say we're going to go into initiative after you blow up the second one. Um, did anyone else want to have like a round, or we're getting in there? I'm scared. I've got the impulse. Uh, if I cast something now, do I keep the duration for all of co- like combat? Or if you we... cast it now, we'll start it duration at the beginning of combat. Okay. Can I cast uh, protection from evil and good on myself? Okay. Anyone else? 
Um, I don't think so. All right, let's roll some initiatives. Uh, for pretty much most of this arc, we're going to be doing simplified initiative because I don't know if you guys saw, there's like 50 skeletons. So I think rather than doing that, we'll just do you guys, neutral guys, bad guys in that kind of order. We're going to do initiative here just so we can see who goes in what order. Um, but if you want, you can hop out of turn as long as it's still in like you guys' round. Cool. So I blew, I blew up two mines. Okay, yeah, the front two. I just verify, okay. Uh, 14. 14? Mm. 16. Mm, 16. 20. Oh, I'm so fucked. Nine. Uh, so it's back, the nine curse. Yeah. 15. 13. 15 for Valar, 13 for you. Okay, and that leaves Stewie? 22. 22. You said 13, right? Seven? 13? 13, yeah, sorry. Okay, Stewie, you are up first. I don't know what to fucking do. I'm scared. I'm going to step on a fucking landmine. There are a lot of them. Maybe uh, we can just shoot all the squares in front of us. Uh, like, shoot in front of us. Let me just double check. Okay. Because we know we're not leaking. What are you doing? Where did you get that? <laughs> you can speak. <laughs> Why are you so holding it in the air? He's. I think you can go if you want. He's stricken oh, yeah, with. Yeah, we're, sorry, we're doing it's friendly Mauler's turn. Gate. It's friendly turn. Uh, locate objects, and I can see landmines because I, I know all items of a particular kind. I think it's the nearest one. I haven't already found them all though. No, but we're gonna have to encounter more mines as we go up the beach for the next ten minutes. I guarantee you, because how mines work. So every time I see the instance on this spell, it says object. Singular object. So it yeah. says the spell can locate the nearest object of a particular kind, such right. as a certain kind of apparel, jewelry, furniture, tool, or right. weapon. So, so you can like locate singular. the singular object closest to you. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, but every but it's, it lasts for ten minutes. Is what I'm seeing, and I can keep on destroying. Oh, one I see and seeing, what he's saying. Okay, um, basically like a minesweeper. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Okay, that is clever. I'll give you that. So what he's doing is he's got um, an active minesweeper. He's maintaining concentration on magic, and he's going to use that to fire his gun and blow up a land I mean, on every I, turn. Whether I fire or not, but I can, I can also just tell when a mine is near us and be like, that's close to us, let's destroy the most proximal mine and move forward. Okay, what I will say is absolutely you can do this, um, and you will have destroyed the closest to It's within mines. 30 feet, so. Yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Okay, well then I'm going to shoot at the one that's after those. Okay, um, I will say that's at disadvantage because you he sees it and he's detecting it, you have to, oh, give me, just give me a perception check. That is how that works. Yeah, we got like a laser pointer. I was just marking exits, like Minesweeper. No, I, I just I mean, like, open uh, my finger and just point. No, I mean like in, in, in the actual role play. Like, 21, 21. You see them too? No shot. No shot. <laughs> All okay. right. You just want to fire the closest one? Make an attack roll. Yes. Not funny. No shot. Yeah. Nice. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move forward. We'll say that you accidentally blow up the one after it, too, because you had such a crazy good shot. Okay, cool. So the blue X's are safe squares. I am in the next safe square, okay, and I have up to 30 I, I'm really scared, guys. I don't usually do this type of, like, combat type of stuff, so I think I'm going to kind of stay on. I'm going to move up a little bit closer, but I'm going to stay on the boat. Oh, right, you're, like, trying to hug the wall for cover? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to swim. That's not good. Shark, it's your turn. Does feather fall Shark work as a flotation? <laughs> hey. He's oh, yeah, he's not. His name is Shark. Oh, wait, no, it's, any, it's all of them within a, a thousand feet, sorry. But um, it's I have to see it within 30 feet the first time, which I did when I blew up. Yeah, you, you know there's one in the square down left of you. There's one, basically, there's an entire column of landmines where the bridge is. Got it. Well, Shark, you see Foray standing in the water. He's about waist high. Okay, and I'm gonna run up. Where is that? Oh, it's 25 feet. Wait, can we occupy the same square? Um, in combat, no. Yeah, you can't. You can't. But he can run through you. But I can't run through him afterwards. You can oh, always no, run no, through no, each no, other. Just you just can't the stay there. Cool. Um, Basically, I can't destroy the mine in front of you. As I'm telling you. I don't think without you could. Okay, but we just maybe get shoot. a little cover. Be a harder shot. Got it, got it. Um, I am gonna throw my javelin at the guy on the beach. Okay, um, to be clear, uh, the props that we see here, the people with the like black and red sash. Oh, that's chest, a good buy. Good those buy. are friendly. Good. However, yeah, there's a good. giant hulking undead in front of you as yeah, well. Yeah, I think that's a little too far from me. I don't so, think so. Oh, not yeah, that's already. All right, I'm going to throw my javelin at him. All right, make it a tackle. Ooh, he's attacking your word. In combat, we're doing right, it. Net 20. 
What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Roll damage. I hit. I'm just going to scoot over here. Uh, it's eight damage. I just scooted up a little bit. Eight points of damage. That was uh, with the double? Oh, you 16. Get, okay. You get double dice, not the double strength mod. Making him roll dice in this game. 15 Whoa. total. Okay. 15 points of damage. You land like the hardest javelin you've ever thrown, like center of mass, and you like tear off his entire shoulder, but he's like, ah, he's still coming up. And then I'm going to finish my turn by raging. Oh, will you be doing the thing? What's that? The yeah, new thing. So I'm going to do a constitution save. Something happened to Shark <laughs> when he was alone in a hot dog warehouse with a man named Joey Peanuts. A lich man <sighs> named Joey Peanuts. And he is recalling in this moment. That's bad. bad. That's bad. That's bad. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. No. I just normal rage. <laughs> Interesting. Now, we had discussed with you that once per arc, the DM gets a, no, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, given that this is a new ability, no, it's happening. Okay, okay. perfect. And I think you get either one. Oh, if, if I get either one, I'm, I'm going full bore then. What happens to Shark? Shark goes full hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's like, what? <laughs> Charlie's like, God damn it. That makes sense. So I was taken by a hot dog lich. And turned in, I, I'm a wear hot dog now. Mm -hmm. So when I rage, I have to do a constitution saving throw to either go half hot dog or full hot dog. Um, and when I'm full hot dog, I think my health doubles. Mm -hmm. I, I become a big hot dog. Um, <laughs> and the only words I can say are hot dog <laughs> <laughs> until oh, a short or long rest. I think we said you become huge, which, by the way, yeah, is this big. Way. Uh, so that means you're going to just run over like 50 landmines yeah. by getting big. I so. have two attacks. I have hot and dog, which is I can <laughs> slam one fist and then the other fist. <laughs> I need, good lord, uh, <laughs> two constitution saving throws as you blow up two landmines. What is your current new health total? 88. What? Dog whistle. That is double but 44. His flesh is meaty and weak, so you'll take extra damage from everything. Um... I'm trying to find... You're basically a wussy. Yeah? You're a wall. Yeah? It's more hot dog. All right. Um, it's still, I believe it's still your constitution saving throw. I become yeah. vulnerable to all damage. So, all right, it's... I have never had to roll this many dice. Before. 17 and 15. References and Were the sure. saves? Yep. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need a dice roller. <laughs> oh, and I gain oh, all the God. other... Oh, oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> You know what it is. You stepped on two of them. I know. That's why he wanted it to happen. So. <laughs> is he about to die? You're about to die. <sighs> you're actually you failed both. You're probably, you failed both. Oh, you hold on, hold on. You're, this, about to, you're about to die. This is triumphant, Matt. You turn or shark. You turn into a hot dog, and I'm going to watch you explode. <laughs> you take 284 damage. <laughs> Oh my god. The oh, good news is it's like wild shit. And die instantly? So when hot dog dies, I don't dies, think we I said it was like wild shit. No, that's what Drew told me. You're, you're dead, dead, dead. That's what Drew told me. Oh no, the other thing happens. He can't die. Oh yeah. Okay. What the what? fuck? This is insane. So here's what actually happens. <laughs> <laughs> he forms the mega dog, releases several landmines, takes several crazy this high This was my plan. This is so funny. Explosions. Up. Keep he talking, instantly dies and reverts to his true form, which is a single tiny hot dog. <laughs> and he is floating in the, in the waves now. He goes to zero HP. <laughs> He's like regular size. I look, or, I look at him. Uh, Did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> there. He's teeny hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But amazingly, all the landmines are gone. Yes, oh. I saw that Nick Lindon fell earlier, and he was all like, you friend became a big old hot dog, didn't he? And I was like, I didn't think that was possible. This so is not, not how I thought right. this was going to so, be. So was he's, fucking with me. He's like a mortal, but in the like the JoJo's mask sense, where he's now, he's like, Shark is dead. Out of, I'm out of character. I'm for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking God. I can't believe that got here in time. <laughs> I ordered it next day. He is floating as a hot dog. <laughs> he does happening? not roll death saves because he is not dying. 
But there's no way for him to naturally escape the hot dog form without either the blessing of Joey Peanuts or help from you guys. So he is stuck as a hot dog until someone gets him. I want to be clear. This was nowhere in the sheet. Yeah, we didn't tell him anything. I didn't think it would happen this fast. Okay, well, I'm... Are we done? Wait, I'm... Is there more explanation? Can, nope. Not for now. Yeah. He's right. a tiny hot dog. Huh? Let me do my quick move because it's not much. I'm just going to attack. I'm not going to become a giant hot dog and blow up and eat hundred things. <laughs> I'm going to sneak You're up. You're not? Uh, probably. You, he blew up like most of this, right? Oh, yeah. Right? That's all That's all safe to the beach now. I'll go right there. And then I'm going to cast Ice Knife at not the giant one, but those three really close together ones. Like, let me circle them. These guys. Okay. I'm going to ice knife those fellas. Uh, oh, and this is an attack. At 23 for three. <laughs> Let's go. That's like my sixth one in like three days. In the one shot we had done where you guys get to roll for their instant death, given how many undead we're going to kill in the next few weeks, I'm just going to roll them myself. Uh, okay. Um, I'm giving them all this advantage because it was a critical strike. Uh, impulse powers up his magic. What does that look like? Um, I... Uh, I go like Avatar State in my eyes when I shoot out this big fucking thing. So my eyes go all white and I shoot like a really radiant looking ice knife at them. Just okay. a big cone of ice. Um, your spell does a ton of damage. They all explode and instantly die. And you know what? This guy too. He dies too. Oh! Oh, man. I felt good. <laughs> Just a quick turn. Yeah. And then uh, I don't think I can do anything with my bonus action, so that'll be it. All right. I'm going to fly... Over and then use my extra action to dash and fly again. But can I pick up hot dog on my way by? Does he have like sideburns, Drew? We didn't talk about. Yeah, you have like the shark sideburns as a hot dog. Um, and then I'll just come like land on the beach with hot dog. Okay. Um, is there just by holding it? Is there any indi- like? Can I indicate at all whether his heart is like? Is he alive? Does he need? Something. Technically, no. I just literally just a hot dog. You'd get the give me a. Wait, oh. Can I like? Is there yes. that? I guess that's what I'm asking. Is there a check I can do or or? How would you okay know that he's just not, not a regular hot dog? Yeah, that's a fair question. I think. Can I sense the life in him? <laughs> there's like a detect <laughs> life. There's like grill marks that appear on him that says like, "Heal me for shark." And that's what it says. <laughs> Glyphs, but in grill mark, in grill mark fashion. fashion. So, that's if, so if sick. somebody heals him, then he will get back, back up. Yes. Okay, I don't have an action, so that's the end of my turn. Do you want to say anything, perhaps? I'll just be like, hmm, and I'll put him in a pot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, keep it going. Who's left? Uh, okay, I'll, no, I'll mosey on up, sitting there in a hot dog. And uh, oops, sorry, that's the wrong person. You should have let you get in the costume and <laughs> kill me. <laughs> it's so funny. Just move here. And then <laughs> I will cast Healing Word on Shark. Okay. We Does he get his form back or is he Shark again? Shark. I feel like Shark as well. Okay, so you cast Healing Word on the hot dog. Four hit points. Shark erupts from the large pocket. Oh, wait. Sorry. You better be. Nine hit points. Nine hit points. Nice. It's going to sound crazy. Uh, Shark erupts from the pocket. I feel like, uh, can't wait to see what happens when you rage again. Damn, man, you made me feel like a corn dog in there. <laughs> oh, my God. Shark's back. That is my Aaron moment. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Shark. You have a lot of explaining to do. Thank, thank you. You said four hit points? Nine. Nine. Nine hit points. All right, Hugh, how are you going to round out this amazing combat round? <laughs> I'll probably just come on over here. Get into the water and hide. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all these like explosions, you just into the waves. Give me a stealth check. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Sambians is sick. You guys those, hear the borders going off? Yeah, those bone lists are crazy. He's got the like avatar drill like draw going in the bossing wow. way. Is that the dragon? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? That's the collective groan of all the undead. They're I'm chopping our car. They're, it's a, they're taking our cars apart through. right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a sixteen. Okay, you are 16 hidden. Um, Liv comes screaming over the top of you guys, just wildly firing, firing into the crowd and on the cliff. Um, okay, we will go to the bad guy turn. Um, all of the zombies advance, which is going to be super fun. And then all of the friendlies advance, which I'm going to do and will take me some time. But uh, the bone listers start spewing entire skeletons onto the beach. They hit the ground and like razor sharp shrapnel 
teeth, skull, fragments, bones uh, around each of you. I need dexterity saving throws from everyone. I'm, Does that include me? It does include you uh, because you are standing near your friends. Do we yeah. see it coming? You do see it coming. Oh, yeah. They are, dangerous you can thing. actually see them on the map right now. They are on top of that cliff. Perfect. Uh, 14. 15. I'll, I'll give you advantage, um, Hugh, because you are literally oh, underwater. I got 23. Okay. 24. Damn. 13? N- yes, no. 19? Yes. 15? Five. No. I'm holding that one. 15? Yes. 15? Yes. 17? Yes. If you saved, you take... No, oh, fuck. I think that mechanic. 10 points... No, 5 points of slashing damage. If you did not, you take 10. Oh. Uh, as do these I, just like... Do I still have it? Dies. Am I still technically... You would have it again, yes. Uh, are you in rage? You went down. I don't think so. Cool. So no. For for help. Right, okay. That's actually insane. What are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> you and I have the same information. <laughs> a, there's a lot going on. Um, but the friendlies move up. They take <laughs> out some of the skeletons. <laughs> I remember when they invented chocolate. <laughs> sweet, sweet chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I always hated it. <laughs> what that is was it? amazing. Yeah, I've been working on it. Is that for character two? It's a chocolate lady? Yes. Yeah, it's just a SpongeBob lady. <laughs> that's, his, that's his aunt. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done that voice when I talked to my mom. Oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you came out of me. We should do a campaign my rock to bottom. <laughs> yeah, so rock bottom. Like hey, guys, I'm <laughs> going to so go so hard. So, um, the creatures are moving up. We are, the skeletons are advancing. You guys took your damage from the being hit by all the bone stuff? Yeah. Oh no, the war zone is dangerous. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, look at all these people that are just dying because they take 10 damage and die because they're people. That's crazy how it goes like that. Okay, um, you guys are also um, now able to see like kind of like a, a figure in robes coming down the hill who appears to be issuing orders to the enemies. Um, the rest of the soldiers are coming out of the boats um, and on kind of the collective soldier turn, Liv, after running past you guys um, and like firing wildly at the cliffs, stops um, and like turns around real quick and addresses both Valar and Foray and says, God damn you guys, what kind of what kind of magic mojo is that? Ain't got nothing like that around here. And she's like firing off into the distance. That's need to know business and that's not yours. No, I don't think that's how that works, considering you work for me. Um, although, um, she just like kills like one of the big people. Yeah, I don't think that'll be the case for very long. In the upper echelon, there's a, there's a show we watch called Undercover Boss. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just like killing You'll skeletons. You'll enough, because we're going to make it. That's the, there's a dragon coming by. Yeah. <laughs> I was about Second to dragon. My mind. <laughs> you'll, you'll understand soon enough. And then I, uh, well, is it, wait, it's ready. Uh, I'm not even up yet. I'm, no, she's just talking to you while she's, yeah. yeah. Did you want to, you can emphasize gesture, talk, um, want to slap her? I don't know, what was going on here? Yeah, let me look at Albert for two seconds. Well, okay, yeah, Albert would help. Where is she at? She is here in the water with you guys. <laughs> I cough up a Vienna sausage. <laughs> 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 All right. Which also is Let's, uh, ooh, I spoil it will, it will now be your turn. You guys have already dealt with the yeah, siege speaking. machines um, kind of blasting bones down to you. You've seen the, you know, the zombie commander. I'm going to run up. I'm going to run up here and basically cast uh, Turn Undead, which does not see yet. Mm, what does that do? Mm. Uh, it tells the undead to get the fuck away from me. But also, is there a secondary effect sometimes? See you turn undead? Not yet. Oh, not yet? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, how does that resolve, brother? Yeah, that's a great question. Okay. As a cleric expert, I uh, I, I, I know these things. I just don't mm-hmm. remember. Please. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, he's figuring that out. Have huh? you got those sweet, sweet healing juices? I do not. <laughs> is it our turns again? It is. He's doing a cool thing. You guys are all up now. We can go out of order. Um, or I can call the initiative. His cool thing is going to be super cool if yep. he knew. Uh, as an action, present your holy symbol. Uh-huh. My hat. Uh-huh. I also have like a insignia, but that's irrelevant right now. Anyways, and speak a prayer centering the undead. Uh, you shall not approach. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know, something like that. Mm-hmm. And then each undead that you can see or hear uh, with it, that can see or hear you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw. Mm-hmm. 
uh, the creature fails its saving throw, it is turned away for one minute or until it takes any damage. Um, your great line after all this whole blue with this amazing ability is you shall not approach. Oh, no, actually, I'm gonna be gone, evildoers. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> It is not their turn, so they don't actually do anything, but all of the skeletons on the beach, not the large guys, but every single one, including the zombie, looks utterly terrified of this holy power rising out of him. Um, I actually think your thing is the sun, right? This dark and gloomy day, right? It was overcast. A single, like, cloud parts and, like, just a big ray of sunshine, kind of like a billowing wind. In this moment, where Ferre's calling on his divine power for once. Um... Amazing. Uh, pocket full of sunshine, maybe. True. Um, so all of the skeletons are feared and for the next minute have to run away and do nothing else. Um, That's the, pretty dope. Yes. Yes. Oh, and the siege team too. Shoot. I'll let you roll for this one. Um, what's the wisdom saving throw again? Sorry. The skeletons got a five, so it didn't matter. It just says, uh, is it against my DC? Because it doesn't say yeah, that. Yeah, it's uh, That's, Jesus Christ. 14? Go back. 14? To go back and forth, please hold, please hold, please hold. Mm-hmm. It is 13. 13. Okay. Want to roll? Ooh. Oh, sure. Siege team. Somebody, uh, Scourge. The siege I can't really team. My arm <laughs> this. So if it's a 13, <laughs> the siege team. <laughs> I'm wearing a stat. Oh, wow. What was that? Oh, the sawdust. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The siege team gets a minus one. Is that cocked? It's a little yeah, cocked. That is cocked. Oh, the law of cocked. My favorite law. Oh, I hate this dude. That's big. That's beautiful. Jesus. What is happening? Okay. Seats. <laughs> so not only does the skeleton troops on the ground flee in terror from your holy power, but all of the siege gunners who are firing the bone listas will now flee in terror as well. So, you guys have a full unimpeded charge, except for the two giant guys and the person wearing robes. They appear to be still in the battle. It is friendly turns now, though. So, what else you guys got? I'm going to nuke that dude in the back with Scorching Array. All right. Um, from... One? Go ahead. No, I was just asking which one. Uh, the purple one, right? Yeah, the okay. guy by that thing. Okay, he has partial cover, so it'll be a little harder to hit him because he's behind That's the really sandbags. Easy. Is it uh, a disadvantage? Nope, it, I'm just going to give a little extra AC. Okay. Um, so... From the water, what does this look like? That's super I cool. Just, Can you hit that? It's. I have 120 on Scorching Ray. Damn. That's such a long laser range. beam. Yeah. I just like breathe in deep. I go... It's really thin, but really precise lasers. That one's a... I think you're... Sorry. You're that's 22. I think your gun can shoot that far as well. Yep. You have 120 right 120 feet. 22, oh, 18. Yeah, yeah, I didn't write it down because I'm uh, the bad DM. Sorry? Uh, 22, 20, and 18. 22, 20, and 18 all hit. Let's go. Oh, and then I get a D. So the D4 for impulse, is it every single ray will get one? Oh, it's every attack. And these are separate. So, yep. Mm. Well, he gets hit with eight. Followed up with oh, eight. I see. I award. See. Not Ele- even the cover matter. Go ahead. Eight, 11, and six. Okay, so total 25 damage. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, you fire off these several, like, scorching laser beams from your mouth that are slightly brighter because they have the radiant damage. Um, that is not enough for the death roll. He has still got health remaining. Oh, wow. Mm. Taking that guy down. Okay. Um, it did, there was solid damage, though. Um, what else, guys? So oh. these two big guys are still here? Mm-hmm. And they do not appear to be f- okay. feared. Okay, I'm going to run up right here in front of Hugh and do Cloud of Daggers on... This guy. Okay. Remind us how your spell looks. Uh, it's a bunch of bones, actually. Yeah, it's pretty funny how that works. So <laughs> I play a little ditty and a bunch of bones come out. Are you going for the left one or the right one? The one, the one on that the... has, like, the weird arm. Okay, the one on the left guy. Yeah. All right, um, and he just takes damage. Yeah. You want to roll it? Yes. It'd be your own bones. <laughs> nice bones. Um, nine. Okay, nine points of damage, and then again on its turn. Anything else? Um, nope. I will cure wounds uh, non-hot dog shark. Which okay. Which is 1d8 plus my spellcasting modifier. Is that charisma? Like the plus six. Okay, yeah. So do you want to roll your health? It won't be plus six. It'll just be the charisma itself. So no proficiency. Oh. Okay, so plus four. Roll it for me. 
Okay. Okay. You're my healer. Okay. Can be your healer, baby. Uh, nine total <laughs> health heals. <laughs> Thank you. So, all right, you hidden. I'll go ahead and poke my little hand out of the water with the gun, take aim at the guy in the back, since apparently I can reach. Yeah, that, looks that is six. How works? It's, it's like actually a, seal, a literal seal. It's like the Nessie, the Nessie scandal. <laughs> you, look <at> Nessie, <laughs> you look at the Nessie picture. Yeah, make that attack with advantage because he definitely doesn't see him. Oh man. Uh oh, that was big. So that's a twenty. Seven sandbags don't help that much. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Roll damage. That's weird. Nice. Nice. Some deep you'll get sneak. You'll double the dice damage for impulse. It's uh, gonna be a lot. That's so six with the three d four plus dex, which is another six, so twelve. And then what else was it? Um, did you? Sneak. Yes. Did you double the dice? Because you no, sorry, you didn't crit. Excuse no, me. No, I didn't crit. Yeah. Uh, your sneak damage. So then plus five to that. So 17, right? 17 leaves him incredibly close to death. However, that means that the special ability of your rifle will kick in. If he fails a wisdom saving throw or a constitution saving throw, he instantly dies uh, from these undead slaying weapons. Would you like to do the honors? Sure. What do I need to roll? He needs to roll an 11 or higher. Okay. Instantly dies. All right, let's let's go. Go. I killed him. Okay, what yeah. does it look like? It's like a blast of white light. Yeah, I just blast him, and then you see him in the distance. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he's just gone. He's just all of these like <laughs> skeletons and zombies <laughs> kind of turn around in fear of this like you holy force. Like, <laughs> they like turn to him. He's like the boss, and he was like kind of giving orders, and then like he, they, he goes to give an order, and just, <laughs> just disappears. Uh, he's dead. Um, anything else? Uh, I'll just bonus action hide again so I sink back into the wall. Well, actually, I'm going to move first and then do that. So I'm going to move, oops, move over here, like on, on the shore, just hide. Here, I got you. Yep, if you can move me. <laughs> you got the pillar <laughs> table. All right, so now I'm just going to hide. Yeah, it's a, it's a 10. Okay, uh, you are a 10 hidden, but there's not that much water in the square. It's a bit tough. Uh, who is left? I think... I, I don't think I went either. You go ahead. Oh, uh, I will cast Moonbeam on this on this other big one. What does Moonbeam do? Moonbeam is a silvery beam of pale light that shines down in a five foot radius, forty foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. When a creature enters the spell area uh, on a turn or starts its turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flames, oh. and it must make a Constitution saving throw and or it takes. 2d10 radiant damage on a failed save. Incredibly, I've rolled an 11, which I believe is below your difficulty class. 2d10? Yeah. Yeah. Now, if only I could remember which one's Now, this one (laughs) has already been critically javelined by Shark and shot by Liv. So, if you roll 8, 9 damage, it will die. Okay, well, that was a 2, so... Uh, Yeah, that's 10. Let's go! go. go. (laughs) Jesus! More zombies next time. More zombies. Okay, Uh, this one's done. (laughs) Uh, so the only remaining active combatant is the guy with the freaky hand. Uh, I, guess still there. I think. Did you go? No, I'm gonna go, guys. I think I, I'm getting this, and I'm gonna rage. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, do you make a constitution saving throw if you want. Okay. <laughs> so do I get to pick half dog or full dog? If you beat 15, you can pick half dog. If you beat 20, you can pick either one, if, and you can pick neither if you want. Basically, he is trying to be so angry and control of himself to bring on the curse without going all the way into it. He's it's very Naruto, huh? Or the Hulk. Yeah. Or the Hulk, right. <laughs> the, the audience loves Naruto. We're going to do that. Well, we, we know that full dog, when I die, I just turn into hot dog, which becomes shark again. Mm-hmm. Um, I rolled a 21. Oh, so you can... A what? That's... Huh? 21! 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> I'm confused to think that you have a sage mode, though. i got to be honest. I it's almost... not that. <laughs> All right, I'm... I'm going to not learn from my mistakes, and I'm going to go full dog. Okay. Um, we said double health. Is it current health? Yeah. Current health. So okay. what is your cool. health now? I'm at 18 now. Okay. <laughs> you become huge. Wait, wait. Dog. No. I'm lying. 26. Oh. He's, he's got a back. Do, he's got a do I have to, like, mark. run? Give or? me a dexterity saving throw. Do you say anything as you go hot dog? 
hot dog. <laughs> you never go full hot dog. That's so a six. I, I, why do I you grow are, out? When did I grow up? <laughs> you are a huge well, creature now. Okay. You, you are both. You take up a lot of space. It's like a 30 feet. You unfortunately do not escape the bun. You're somewhere between bun and man. And dog. <laughs> You're in his square. He's engulfed you in meat. What does that mean? <laughs> You're basically in his tank. As exactly as I've said, you are. You have become. Can I pick him out of me? If you want. Yeah, I want to pick him out of me. All right, you pick him out. He just grabs you because he's fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> so he's massive enough to where grabbing somebody is just a free action. That's crazy. As long as he doesn't fight back. No, I'm, I want to be out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> what are your hands right now? Hot dogs. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you like hot dog art. What so, about the rest of you? Yeah, what about the rest of you? Also hot dogs, yeah. Do you have any condiments? So, no, no condiments. Okay, just, just a, hot dog just and raw one dog. baby. Got it. Um, so, <laughs> I will run up um, here. Yeah. And you, you have gained all of the abilities of, of half dog. Yes. Um, you pr- Does he get hit by Moon? Yeah, would he get? You probably don't want to run. Oh, I, oh yeah, he would. I thought that. Moonbeam was like a. Pfft. It stays there. It's like a laser that stays. All right. Um, there's a, a guy strange. here. Are you just gonna consume yeah, I'm him? I'm gonna I'm gonna run over these two soldiers. Okay, they get like sucked up into your hot dog body. Perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna. You're come, like, oh my god! I'm gonna come here. <laughs> he takes on their mass. When we, <laughs> we it's like a black hole. He becomes even more hot dog. Definitely when we conceptualized this arc, we thought, man, they're gonna have a great time on the beach scene with Mega Dog, the mind sweeper. Um <laughs> right, and I'm gonna use Let me see the range. He here. has new powers, they're hot dog based powers. I'm He's use trying to figure out hot dog water blast. <laughs> Okay. Uh, which is a bonus action, or I guess so. First, I will I will hit this guy next to me. One of the little guys. Yeah, gave him a steam yeah that guy right there. Huh? You guys gave him a steam attack. It's so, Eldritch Blast, but the hot dog. I can't forget. I'm gonna hit him with my right arm, which is called Dog. I'm gonna hit him with Dog. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, which is two d six. Matt, remember what we learned in the one shot. You have to hit him first. You have to hit him first. <laughs> oh. It's an 18. It hits him. Okay. <laughs> six plus. Oh, that was cool. So when it says plus strength modifier. Huh? Just like any other melee attack. Um, oh, okay. So plus four. So 10. 14 plus proficiency. Uh, not for damage. It says plus proficiency. That's to hit. Then yeah. don't worry. It's, oh, we okay. did bad. DM. 14. 14 damage on this guy. Oh, you... Yeah, the impulse comes with you. Um, you can roll a save for this zombie who might get squished. Um, so if you roll a 11 on the die, he will die or lower. Full squish. Let's go. Nice. nice. Okay, Huge. one zombie down. Damage and big hot dog did you do with your axe? <laughs> yeah. Well, he gets hot I can hit and dog. Oh, so see. just like now, I, I'm i going to go hot dog, and I'm going to spit hot dog water at the guy working this... Left ballista. Okay, I'll burn the cliff. Burn the ballista. Yeah, I think you are actually tall enough to just see up the cliff now because you're huge. All right, perfect. I'm just gonna. Oh, do you spit it? I do. That's sick. Oh, it's up to 120 feet. Oh no, you can definitely hit him from there. Yeah, that's a on one d two. I gotta, I gotta roll a attack. I can't wait till we get questions of how to write down the oh, hot dog class. That definitely does yeah. not hit. All right, what is it? Um, it's a three. Yep, that definitely does not hit. Well done. Is that it? Yeah. Do you have anything to say for yourself? I have a hot dog question. <laughs> you lose, so when he rages into hot dog, he loses the effects of rage? No. No, he keeps those because he well, is... It changes because he gets damage more. Or instead of resistance. Uh, yes, uh, because he is more meat than man. A second attack. Wait, 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 wait. That's reckless attack. You, uh, that's that's reckless attack, but your slams, you get to do a hot and a dog. You only did dog. Oh, they're not bonus actions? So that is in one action for two slams. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, come on. You're a giant hot dog monster. I'm going to step over here then. There's so much to learn. You also are a huge creature. You can reach them from where you were. You guys have given him too much power. (laughs) Yeah, what is is my... Yeah, he's a mortal. He does unbelievable damage. 15, 20 feet? 15 feet? Huge creature. He's 8 feet tall, so he can just... 15 feet tall, so he can just shoot everything. I will hit that skeleton on the point of the triangle. Okay, sounds good. Wait, how... He has a second. He's hitting it with uh, hot. Uh, hot dog. 
Charlie's upset I'm overpowered while playing the most overpowered character. I don't use any of his overpowered shit. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, okay. what, what, what have I used? Our to DMs have those coins. Play You're playing a god. We don't play anything. We just come in here out and fly by the seat of our yeah. pants. I used a blaster for. He most used of a blaster. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or by rapier. He's playing pacifist, bro. Yeah, he's really a pacifist. pacifist. He yeah. only kills when he has to. <laughs> <laughs> And so we loved how Matt already had to roll 14 dice, so we just gave him entirely more, different yeah. dice. 11, 11 damage. Okay, uh, on the dice, I believe the skeleton is a 12 or lower. Let's go. Get him. Oh, oh. Shit lives. Shit. Not Ooh. today, dog. Anything else? Nope. Okay. The end. All right. Anyone else want a regular turn? Uh, I think he was the last. I think he was yeah, perfect. Last. I forgot it had been nine minutes of this and one mission. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On the soldier's turn, several things happen. First, Liv comes up to you two and says, Well, shit, that was so cool. I um, have to tell people about this. Sorry. Um, but some of the other soldiers now, you guys have basically turned all of the peons away, annihilated the big guy, mega hot dog monster, fucking lighting up the beach in the background. There's only one real combatant left at this point. Um, a lot of the other soldiers are coming up and, me- and like, you know, gun over their head, like rallying, like, we took the beach, it was us, we did this together. And like, basically everybody is already celebrating as they're doing that, like, come on, let's get up there, let's go. And like, the, they're it kind of started to push up the hill really fast. Um, as far as the undead, well, all literally all the skeletons have to just full dash away in a panic. So they just move their entire move speed twice to get away from you guys. Uh, that leaves the mecha hand guy who is going to try and... Uh, oh, can he see you? Yes, he can. He's going to try and squish you. Doesn't he get more damage now? Who? Since he's in Cloud of Daggers. Oh, you're right. Yes. I forgot how fair that was. <laughs> I'm glad that she's keeping me honest because I forgot there were daggers there. 12. Okay, he takes 12 points of damage. He really doesn't like that. I actually think, you know what? He's safe. I think he's going to come forward and hit you now at this point. Uh, he's gonna give you the bop. Does a 15 hit him? Me? Yeah. He's coming after you. Oh. Uh, can I protect the Sure can. What does that do? Uh, I'm gonna fly over and make his you disadvantage. Okay. Total. I'll try one more time. I don't think a 12 hits you. <gasps> no. <Thank> okay. You. <laughs> what happens? Um, so I guess... Is he, like, meleeing? Mm-hmm. Or... He's got his big, like, metal hand club. Yeah, so I'll, like, just swing and I'll appear from seemingly nowhere in front of her and, like, just raise my shield and walk me. Yeah, back. and you hear just a super loud clang as, like, the, he, like, whoa, recoils back. And I'm just screaming. <laughs> he's ready. He knows the battle. Um, but now he's right next to Hugh and actually uh, is probably not going to live very long. A lot of the soldiers take pot shots at this guy. Some of them land. They do a ton of damage to him, um, and he's looking like he's on the last legs, but mostly everyone's going to spend the round charging around the hot dog monster that has become like the siege warrior, I guess, uh, and is like pushing their way up uh, into the cliffside. You're looking short, (laughs) No longer are there working bone lists because they're terrified. There are no soldiers on this beach that was like 50 skeletons. You guys literally are fine, Uh, and it is your turn again. I want to do my big boots of striding. I'm going to take a big jump from the water over here. I think Ooh. that's 30. Uh-huh. And then I checked. I can just barely get 60 on those goobers right there. So I'm going to hit in the front line. I'm going to hit that middle guy with a big ice knife, or at least Ooh. try to. The skeleton in the passageway? Uh, no, that one who's up the boys that are where the whole group is. The big That box. closest middle one. You're I think he describing... means like this one over here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that thing in between you two is a giant cliff face. So they're kind of going up something. You cannot see them from oh, there. Oh, no. But you could have jumped a little to the right, maybe. Yeah. Oh, let's do that. I'm going to be right here. Oh, we're going to drag. Okay. So I jumped. Oh. oh. <laughs> jumped now into the cloud. Of like here? Yeah, just in front of it. Yeah, it just wouldn't grab. So okay. So which one are you aiming for? The very front one or make one in the middle? We'll go that one on the far right Mm because maybe I get... If you hit that one that he is circling, um, it will damage all of the skeletons around. Yeah, that's the plan. Now, hold on. Whatever that was, I don't want to know. If you hit them, this could kill four skeletons. Do you want to... Yeah, I'll do that. We get to use the big dice. The Louis heads. The big dice. Brand new. Thank you, Matt. Brand new, yeah. Oh, that's oh. Oh. Oh, so Actually, 
Wait. So it's a 10 hit. Do they have no AC? <laughs> These guys, the only sharp roll quack, unfortunately do have some AC. The thing is, how turn undead works, I'm trying to see. Oh, they're feared, right? They are feared. Does that break the fear? Until you hit them. Until we hit them. The thing is, is like, they didn't dodge. They aren't looking at you and they're facing away. So I do feel like I've been accused of being generous with my advantage. And I admit to that in occasion when it's funny or story relevant. They literally aren't looking at you. So I think that's fair. If you'd like to roll it again. Okay. Ooh. How dare you <laughs> not be able to see me? Hey, Matt, can you help us? Oh, that's oh not a roll. we need one of those pushy things. Yes. Yeah. Seven is 14. 14 oh. hits. They have 13 Charlie, take up your drink. That's not my drink. But it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. Oh, oh, no. The all spark drink. Um. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so. I had to put it on camera. Now that that hits, they get three. That first dude that I hit takes three damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Plus. Okay, four damage. Mm-hmm. And then all the goobers around him take. Oh. 10 damage. Now, where I think they normally get a dexterity saving throw um, for this part, um, the important bit is that you're going to hit them all with your impulsed spell. Means that they are all skeletons, and those skeletons do not have enough HP to pass the threshold. And where I'm going with this is, would you like to roll one save to see if you kill four skeletons? Let's see. I believe the number to beat was 11. It is 11. On the dice? Yeah, on the dice level. Then they don't instantly die. Uh, what was the total of the damage you did? Um, uh, to everybody else, it was 10. That okay. first guy had a plus, took 14. First guy dies, the other ones are very close to death. I'll take that. Okay. I'll kill the big guy in front of me, so I'll make a little rapier hand, and I'll get him with my jab. Okay. He's jabbing. It's a 24. 24 hits. Well, then... Where's my D8? There she is. It's a 7. Okay. No, it's not. It's an 11. 11? Does that include sneak damage? Because you can get in there. Oh. Then yeah. It's a 16. 15 was the HP number. This one dies too. You guys have taken the beach way faster than I expected. But you guys are undead killing badasses. Anything else? Uh, I'll... Is, is this an action? Yeah. Then no. I'll just... Bonus action, move up here. All right, you're moving. Who's next? My banana. I'll just general. move up. General. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> what's what's the uh, I'm hopping on the banana con to Steve. So I'll move up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, it's not letting me delete that circle I just made. That's so stupid. <laughs> that's that's the banana con. Okay. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Knock it off. All right, now I'm ruining the show. All right, move over here. <laughs> 20 feet. Mm-hmm. I put down my Cavendish. Mm-hmm. That's the word. That's I the mean. magic word yeah. right there. Uh, my banana con of spawns. Mm-hmm. It's massive. And I'm going to mount my noble steed. Okay, let's go. I am going to say you guys have utterly crushed the undead here. And we are going to go to the end of this combat because you have won on this beach. You have defeated all the landmines, you turn all the undead, you kill all the big guys, you stop the siege weaponry. This is going to be the halfway point of this map. As you can see, there is more to the south. As you guys are like valiantly pushing up the beach and like the troops are falling behind you, what do you do like feeling the surge of morale as you guys have like taken the ridge? Like how do you do that? Obviously hot dog and snake, but what else? I'm still screaming. <laughs> like shell shock? Yeah. Like, okay, you're in the water just yelling. I've jumped on shark's back I'm and I'm holding my staff. Okay. Hot dog rider. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Hot okay. dog rider. <laughs> I'll fly like above the point of the like mass of people with my now glowing sword. And okay. Like, uh, I don't uh, think. Pointing the way. I don't think we said it, but I think it should be light like a torch. I thought it was, wasn't it like real on fire? fire yeah, it, it is a, a flaming lighting sword. But what I mean is it gives off light like a torch. It actually mm-hmm. has a light property. Yeah. So like the light cantrip. So people from around can see this right here as it's kind of getting to be the end of the day. And like everyone kind of coming on the beach, you fly up and you have this literal beacon of light that is kind of a rallying point for we've got out the beach. Um, Hugh, what are you doing as your allies are sort of pushing forward? No, I'm hanging out. I'm just saying, yes, it's easy. Uh, I'm just saying these guys are undead. 
Live. They're not trained. But I can feel it. <laughs> Shit talking. Liv offers you a lit cigarette. And she goes, man, that was a beautiful thing. I flick it out of her hand this bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> she lights another one, hands it to you, and says, we're going to die someday. But it's not today. I flick that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> she lights it up and says, you know, I feel like I could have almost died here. You want this one? I'll take that one and then throw it on the ground. <laughs> All right, I've only got six more of these. This joke is expensive. She does another one. <laughs> okay, thanks for the cigarette. Hey, no problem. You guys are real cool, but... Uh, oh, shit. Um, and she offers a salute as, like, a well-dressed, um, bald, older man who is... He's got some kind of physical deformity, like a burn or something. And he has, like, a skull plate, a metal one. Um, mm-hmm. Comes striding out of another lander. He is well-dressed. Actually, we have a token for him, so maybe we'll just do that. Um, and basically, like, he comes with, uh, a, like, a small kind of vanguard... Steps out onto the beach, um, and he is here, so you guys can see him. Um, and everyone who is still here, who is not charged up the cliff, uh, stops to pay this man respect. <laughs> what do you guys do? Uh, I'll ask Liv, is that the commanding officer you're about to have sex with? Did he, did he ask about me? Well, according, you read the script, right? What, your fanfic? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I, what does that mean? No, I was just making sure that was the guy. Well, I mean, did yeah, but do you know something that... I mean, he is cute. It's my first time meeting him. If you go tell him how you feel, I guess. Well, I, that is our commanding officer. The Adrenal is in charge of this operation. The Adrenal, is that his name? No, that's his type. Oh, Adrenal. Out of ten, where's that rank? It's like one or two, maybe. Well, he's not sole command, right? But he's about as high as it gets out here. Oh, you're going now. I yeah, I thought it was no. going up. Yeah. You're going yeah. up? So the closer to one you are, the better you are. Yeah, he's number one. Well, out here he does. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. Okay. So you're actually kind of high then at number three. Well, mm, uh, out here, probably. All right. That's awesome. And yeah, no, congrats preemptively on what's about to happen with you two, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I don't, and he actually kind of does like a scan and then sees you. And walks over to you and Liv. Ignores the big hot dog. <laughs> Lumbering away. One wow. giant banana conda. <laughs> he kind of comes up and he goes, Situation Liv? And she goes, Yes, sir. Um, these guys are crazy. <laughs> Liv's luck. That's what I'm saying. And she says, and he says, That's cute, but do you want to explain? And then he just waves to like you riding shark, you're flying, like you're riding a giant banana conda. Like, Hemp's just letting out full salvos. I, I don't care at all. Like, I'm devoid of context for everything that's happened, because we just kind of appeared, and I'm like, yeah, guys. <laughs> Get up there. So the uh, this man, he says, and you're blue. What is exactly happening here right now? We're saving your planet to create a god. I would watch. Don't say that that loud. But listen, are you with these guys? Yep. Those you, are my friends. Are they your, do they work with your unit or what exactly is happening here? Yep. They work under my unit. He says, um, well, I now promote you to my boss. Hey, the honor's all mine. He hands you like a patch, um, like he produces them and he says, I don't know what's about this, but Soul Command said you guys can do something crazy. So I pronounce you an exerciser. Yes, sir. And he hands you a little patch and it's like a guy running and like a beam of sunlight. And he gives you the salute. I'll grab his wrist. I'll say, good morrow. No, oh, and you too. Uh, so listen, I know I just said you're my boss and give your friends these patches, but I don't know shit about you, and we've got some undead to kill. Right, you are. So let's get to work then. What's your name, by the way? Buster? Oh, Jason. Damn, that's underwhelming. <laughs> What's your last name? Uh, Somerville? Somerville. Jeez, uh, okay. He's like a country singer or something. Uh, how did you... We can talk about that later. Once we get to that. <laughs> if we can get over that hill, we can take those undead out of the trenches. I've got a good surprise for the troops. We can talk about country singing all night. All right. Sounds good, Jason. Okay. So you guys are having this thing where he promotes you guys. Several of the like regular soldiers come up to you guys and they're like, oh my God, you're a hot dog and you're flying and you scared the undead. We've never seen anything like that. Malevolent on crick, my God. When you... <laughs> Thank you for Kenna making that count. When you say that, somebody like has like one of those like cigarette filters, the long ones. There's a guy we're standing by, he's got like black hair, short, takes off of something. <clears throat> Sounds like my kind of place. Don't send us on a malevolent creek. You did this. 
I'm going to in the back go, hot dog. And I'm going to lay down and put my head on a rock. And I'm going to personally take a little shorter rest. <laughs> <laughs> you, you better you better the crick. I, my, my, my entire persona has changed, by the way. I don't <laughs> think about the places I've been because they don't. You look at me and you tell me you better the crick or not. Well, I've, I've seen you better the crick. I've seen creeks. Yeah, I've seen creeks. But what does it matter? At the end of the day, we're all just a number on some sheet. A balanced sheet of life, man. Democracy has no numbers. What do you know about democracy? Hey, can I take a drag of that cigarette? <laughs> yeah. I'm kind produces, of freaking out over here. He produces like a full pack and he hands it to you and he says, <laughs> got this off my dead best friend. Just died a minute ago. But it doesn't matter. Do you want to talk to him? What? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, he goes, I guess. But if death is inconsequential... Because we could just talk, then nothing really matters. What are we doing here? Mm-hmm. You're on to something, bud. I'm confused. Are you going to show me my bed, best friend, or what? Do you, you want to see him? <laughs> he says, yes. Is that, are you joking or what? No, I um, got to become a medium, and I get to summon a spirit. Okay, um, a, like, farm town, young boy, uh, like, very innocent looking face, like, except for the fact that he's, like, slashed open at the throat. Like appears, um, and he, uh, you see this guy who's like smoking his launcher. Oh, Kenny, and the boy goes, "Hey, this is weird. I was just talking to the big man himself. Now I'm here." Yeah, I just wanted to ask if I could take your cigarettes since you can't really use them right now. Well, the good Lord always did say, "Be Sharon," and I'm dead now, so Sharon is Karen. Yeah, and then um, the kind of like nihilistic guy goes, "So, Kenny." Jesus real. <laughs> Kenny goes, I, well, I think so. I'm talking. He's got good long hair, just like all those pictures on the old social media he used to show. Good for you, Kenny. What's a cigarette? Good for you. Kenny, is there anything we need to know maybe about some of these creatures? Or like, I don't know, you look, you look pretty banged up. Yeah, this is going to sound weird, but my body was reanimated under one of those boats. I probably would have come back and killed somebody at some point, so I'm really glad you could talk to me. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Was there anything else you wanted to know? <laughs> nope. Uh, Jason? Uh, Jason is the other guy. The, oh, the, sorry. Um, the kind of nihilistic guy and says, my name's Ego, just Ego. Oh, okay, Ego. Because I am. I got to so cool. go now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen my sword? And he pulls out two katanas. <laughs> I actually will. Puts them out. I will refer one. Oh, <laughs> That's not what this character started in. <laughs> He's a mall ninja. Well, He's I just figured ninja. you wanted to say bye to your friend. And he drops the sword. He goes, bye, Kenny. You'll be missed. Say hi to the big man for me. And Thanks, Kenny. Kenny goes, bye. And he like, walks up the staircase of light. <laughs> Uh, we are here in kind of this moment before we are going up the cliffs and we're going to take kind of the outpost. Um, was there anything anyone else wanted to do before we head into the final part of the battle? I just kind of want to walk up to one of the random grunts and be like, what's up, man? <laughs> okay. Did you see what all was happening there? It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, you <laughs> you come up to like a um, young to mid-20s man who's got like long, bushy hair, um, and he says, yeah, I'm, I'm Jesse. Hey, Jesse. What's up, man? How long you uh, been in the service? Well, I, know, I guess since the war started, since everyone else got drafted. Cool. That's sick. How long, <laughs> you're still surviving, so good for you. Well, I'm, I'm see you. They had me on desk duty for a while, but this salt on Black Beach called everybody up. No, nah, I see. I got you. Um, what you drinking there? Nothing. I'm just... <laughs> Do you want to be drinking something? <laughs> sure. What do you got? Uh, give me one second. Give me... I'm just going to grab gonna, some are you dirt. Are you going to brew? Oh, yeah, God. brew something from the... I'm going to grab some dirt. Okay. Do I still roll the 20 or do I just pick the result? Yes. Yeah, so okay. you roll the 20, I believe, still, but you can still modify. When you get your third table, you pick on the 20. Oh. So right now it's still roll, but you can modify it by the number of things you know on the 20 table, which is a lot. That is a 19. Okay. Let me get back to my table, sorry. Oh! 19's new. 19's new. And the 12th table, yeah. 12th table is a... Well, it's not a 19 anymore. A 9. Okay. Uh, All right. That's spicy. Um, You have this brew that appears to be shaking with, like, divine power. Um, 
And also is like the vial itself is constantly changing, changing shape. Beaker, vial, bottle. And so you have this like radiant kind of energy in a bottle that's changing. I'm gonna be like, all right, buddy. <laughs> Assuming that I got this right, you're gonna be feeling very sleepy here in a moment. <laughs> so I'm gonna, but you know, you should be completely fine after this. Now you have asked, you have posed a scientific question to me, the DM, which is mm-hmm. your two tables. Do you remember the names of the first two tables? Uh, or inorganic and organic. Right. Is dirt organic or inorganic? That I'm going to say is inorganic. Like, I think we decided food, like something you edible. I also foods. agree, but mostly like dyed creatures make soil and stuff like that. So it can be. Now, the one that you're thinking, pit stop. Is I can't remember the- what table it was on. That's on organic. Okay. I don't believe you've seen the 19 result for inorganic. Well, there was so much blowing up happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? Let's go inorganic. Let's experiment on this. Okay, so you bit. have a 19 on that table. Do you want to adjust the roll at all? Uh, no, I'll leave it at the 19. And a 9. Okay, so you give him the juice? Yeah, I'm like, here. I'll like take a pour a little bit and something else. Maybe I take like a little sip of it. <laughs> but I'm like, I've seen enough that I don't want to have this whole thing. It's invigorating and constantly changes flavors like those berries or whatever that taste backwards and all that stuff that moves around. You give it to him? Yeah, I have a little bit. I'm like, oh, that's kind of here. Try this, man. It's going to make you feel big. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. And as soon as he says that, the adrenal walks over and says, um, sir, and he hands you the patch like to promote you. Oh, thanks, man. Do you want this? What? The, <laughs> you're hanging to him? Yeah, I mean, this guy didn't want it. So this little pipsqueak. He's scared. I don't think I'll be drinking that either, actually. What is that? Does anybody want this? I'm just going <laughs> to hold it up. The nihilistic guy goes, I might as well. There's no point. Not you. you see, I don't, your steez is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you can get nondescript soldier number 10 to drink it if you want. If yeah. that's your plan here. Give it to that little goober. Okay. Uh, it's a dwarf named Bonk. He says, I'll take it. Oh, okay, Bonk. All right. Um, he grabs it and drinks it. And you see, like, a discombobulation happening, um, and he goes, oh, I have stone shape. And he, like, just wills, like, part of the beach to change, and it's, like, moves into, like, hard stone. He's like, that's so, oh, wait a minute. And he, like, pulls out his blaster. He goes, huh. And he, like, fires it at a rock, and it looks like it adds extra, like, power to the shot. Cool. And then he, like, runs up the hill, and he goes, ah, oh, and he, like, makes a, like, stone shield, and he hides behind and starts shooting. Oh, oh my God. That's the most useful thing I've ever made. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then fucking the ego guy was like, God, that's so cool. Damn. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have been so cringe when we met you then. What? what are you? Just lost his friend. Give him a break. Yeah, yeah just, but he was being uh, way too... He just died. He was he hiding his emotions. He refused, he refused to open up about it. Wow, I, I am torn up about it. It's, yeah. it's making me emotional. I'll have to go all out in this next battle. Well, then show me. Prove it to me. Uh, uh, Ford Katan. No. Wow. <laughs> is this where's that the hey, sword mastery you Hey, where's Jeff? that one going, man? Where's that last <laughs> one going? I, and he pulls out fifth Katana. These are going up that hill. I mean, where's he wielding them at? But oh, he, cool he never picked up the other ones. He just he bought more than he had, <laughs> oh, and he, like a trail of ninja stars, like crappy ones, follows yeah. him. He In case he like broke one, he's he's just grabs just, he takes it out <laughs> and he just throws them on the ground. <laughs> okay, you have a moment. If you want, you can short rest here at the bottom of the black cliffs. Please. <laughs> I assume all of this hijinks is what looks like a short rest. You're with the banana conda, right, um, and rest. I think that is a good place to call it for the day. Oh, um, okay. In the next battle, we will take that undead encampment, but for now, who knows? Let's go. Yippee.